Okay, today we're going to discuss how you can design your own two-story lean-to cabin using our template. Here we go. Okay, you're going to see a bunch of pop-ups in this design tool. All you really need to know is that you will be using your left mouse button to click anywhere in this area to move the building around. And then you will be using your scrolling wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, right now you will see that this cabin kit is 20 feet wide and 60 feet long. It's actually 45 long on the cabin and we have a 15 foot covered porch area. So you can change any of these dimensions you like. All you need to do is go in here click on there and then type in whatever you want to change the length to. For now we'll just demonstrate. Let's say we want this to be 22 feet wide. After you enter your dimensions in there, just go ahead and click this black background area and that will take effect. Scroll out. Now you can see that it's 22. Okay, if you want to change the height, you can do one of two things. You can either change it here, or you can change it here. But let's leave it at 14 for now. You can also change the roof style if you want to do a gable roof. You can see how it changed it to a gable roof. You can do a gambrel roof. You can see how it changed that. But this, let's just leave it with a single slope. Okay, so now it's 22 feet wide. We'll leave the length of where it is, and the height we'll leave at 14. You can also change the roof pitch. Right now it's at 312. You can change that to all the way up to a 512. If you need a roof pitch higher than a 512, you can make those notes at the end of your design process and we'll show you how to do that when we get there. So for now we'll go ahead and click Next. This talks about how you can change your base sizes. I recommend not doing much with the base sizes in the designer tool. Let us do that on the back end when you're working with a designer to get the exact dimensions. Right now you're trying to just design a building that is close to what you're looking for and get it over to our design team to assist you further. Okay, so here you have the wainscot height. If you want to change that, you can change that here to four. Click on this background area. See how it's changed it. You can change the color to any color you see on the screen here just by clicking on it change that to gray. Okay, so we we'll change it to gray. We'll leave it at native copper for now. Here it tells you that you have one bay, which is this bay here, that is a roof only. Now if you wanted to enclose that, all you would do is highlight that, enter zero, and it will enclose the whole We'll leave that at one for now. We'll go to next. This talks about how you can add lean-tos to the building if you like. Let's say you wanted to add a lean-to to this side. You can do that in the whole building. But we'll leave that off for now. Let's see how it does it over here. You can also open up these bays if you you want it to be just a covered area we can do that but we'll leave it off for now now we're going to 
add a few windows to the building. All you need to do is choose what it is you want to add. Let's see, you want to add another window. And we'll, we'll put a 4x4 four four window. Let's see, we want to add one up here, or three up here. Add. We'll click on the Add button. Release the mouse and drag it up to where you want it. Do that again. And there we go. So, one of the things that you'll see here is if we're looking at this window, it will tell you the height off of the slab and where it's positioned inside of this bay here. So, you want to change the height to 12.8. You can do that. Click on this black area right here. Then we go to this one. Let's make put this one in the center of the bay. And change that to 12.8. And now you have that one at 12.8. We're going to move that to the center of the bay. So now you have these top window openings are all centered in the bay and they're at the same height. Okay, you can do the same. If you wanted to add a door, you can do a personal door, a roll-up door, a sectional door, or if you just want it to be framed out for a future opening, you can do that as well. Okay, we'll move on to the next. This talks about if you'd like to remove the sheeting in a bay, let's say you also wanted this to be open, here, you can do that. Open it either on one side or both. We'll leave those enclosed for now. We'll move on to the next step. This is your mezzanine. Okay, so you can choose which bays you want your mezzanine to be in. So if you wanted to get rid of the mezzanine here, just click on that and it removes it. You can do that for any bay. Okay. Next, it's going to allow you to add props. There's no reason to add props on this building because the goal is to just design the building to the length and width and height that you want and to get that building sent over to our design team to help you finalize where you want everything in the building and to get a quick quote. So next we'll hit get a quick quote. You will enter your first name, last name, your address, city, state, phone number, email, and notes. Let's say you could not get openings in certain parts of the building. You can make a note that says something like something like that. This right here, if you already have financing arranged for the building, click this. And if you own the land that the building is going to go on, you click that. And then let's estimate when it is that you would like the building delivered. Let's say you want it around that time. And you hit Submit. Now this design will go over to our design team, and they will be back in touch right away. Thanks for watching.